Hi friends, I'm back and today we have a beautiful bunny. Let's get started with the first steps. We are going to be grabbing a, this is a filler brush and we're going to grab white for the first steps. I'm going to be looking down because all my paint is right here. So I'm grabbing white and we're going to start with the first steps. I'm going to be placing my bunny right here and the head right here and let's get started with the first stroke. Okay, so I'm going to be filling out all this space here. Like so. Fill it out. This is the reason why I love these brushes because I can fill it out spaces like, like really quick. And now on this side, I'm going to do the cute fluffy tail of the bunny right there. And now let's do the head. I'm going to grab, still grabbing white and the head's going to be right here. Okay. It's kind of like a circle like that and fill it out. Connect with a circle here. Making sure this is like, like that. And here we connect. Okay, now do the ears with the same color. You can do the ears going down or you can do the ears going up. Here I'm going to do one ear going like that. It's like a flick, press and flick, like so. And we're going to do another one on the other side, okay, like so. And we connect all these, so like that's making sense, kind of like that. Make sure you like the shape, make, make sure you like the, the stroke. The sizing here, let me go and do a little bump here to make it more like a bunny right there. It's kind of like that. Connect, connect, connect. I like the shape of my, my eye because you can do a lot of stuff there. So while we're waiting for this step to dry, I'm going to go ahead and do flowers on the side. And for the next step, I'm using my flora. This is number six flora. Any flora will do the great, great job. Just use whatever you have and making making work for you. So I'm grabbing my flora with white. And next, I'm going to add pink. And one second, because... I'm grabbing white, still grabbing white. And now I'm grabbing pink, second color pink. And third color is gonna be magenta. I have it here. And now I have triple low, which is white, pink, and magenta. But to do a little more depth in my brush, I'm gonna tip the tip of the brush with black. Just so I, when I do the flowers, we have definition there. So here I'm going to do one flower here and maybe one flower there, okay? So here I'm going to start with the first flowers. Because I like the shape, I'm going to start try to don't touch it with my flora. So pay attention there. There's one flower, I mean one petal. And just do three, four, five maybe six, I hope you guys can see. And what I do here, I will do it here. Again, don't touch the tail, just stay a little in the, behind or a little far from the tail and then do the petals. I'm so glad that I was able to do this video because I've been busy with face painting and Sometimes I have to keep uh, working on my kit and doing other stuff. Here I'm going to do another one because there is a space. 
kind of like that. I'm gonna pull a petal going here so I can frame the the bunny there, and here maybe have space to do another two, just to frame the the shape. Here I'm gonna pull again maybe one or two petals going this way, trying not to touch the bunny, and the same thing here just to close the the mask. It looks like a mask. You can do less, you can do more. I mean, whatever works for you. Sometimes when I'm running out of the paint, uh, my brush start, uh, my paint start to lose pigments. But I just, if it one side I was using is losing pigments, I just flip it to the other side and still having a lot. See if with one load, all what I did for was a lot. One, two, three flowers and extra petals here and there. So I'm gonna put this one on the side and now I'm gonna grab a round brush and we're gonna do the middle of the flower which is gonna be a little dots. You can do it on white, yellow, blue, purple, any color. I'm gonna do it with uh, neon uh, yellow. You can use regular yellow if you don't have neon. And this one is a round brush. And I'm gonna do on the middle of the um, on the middle of the flowers, uh, two, two or three dots. One, two, three, one, two, three, and the same thing on the other side. One, two, three. Kinda like that. I'm gonna put this one on the side just for a minute so I can do the outlining on my, on my bunny. Hope you, are you doing great? I hope you have a lot of events coming for spring, for Easter. I hope you stay busy. Now I'm grabbing a, this is um, brown, dark brown, and it's in a small brush to do the uh, the face on my bunny. But before, I'm gonna do a little rosy cheeks using a small brush and powders to do the inside of the ears. Just grabbing a little bit. Make sure I have enough. And I'm gonna do here on the inside of the ear, a little flick like that. And here is gonna be the rush cheek, kinda like here. And maybe from here, I'm gonna put a little stroke there. Like so. Now, let's do the outlining. We're gonna start with the face first, maybe. Kinda like that. Like so. It's gonna make sense in one second. And follow the shape of my bunny like so. The fluffy tail. Like so, not nothing complicated. Everything is very easy. And follow up now the the shape here. Let's do the nose, which is gonna be here. A cute nose, which is a flick and pull there. And now we're gonna do the ears. Just follow the shape we draw. Kind of like so. A little flick in the inside to make sure we see it. And now on the other side. Like so. And the inside, let's do a flick here, just to mimic the one of the back legs. Grab a little more water. And close here. The neck. 
and let's do a flick for the eye. Flicks. Eye round. Sometimes we have space to do another eye in the back. Let's see. I like that. Okay. Let's add a little bit of two tops straddles using a this is a number one round brush and we're gonna do swirls here and there to close the whole thing here you can do a flower in the middle right there or a bow or just all the details to make it more cute but I will keep it like that just for timing purpose so here I'm gonna do a swirls going from here there Again, I'm not trying to touch the tail because I want you guys to see. And let's do another one going this way. Okay. Let's do here a few tear drops. Same thing here. Tear drops. Trying to connect the whole thing. And here, because here's no space, I don't want to go on top of my nose. I will stay, instead of doing my swirl here, I will do here uh, two jobs. Like so. And maybe here also on the forehead. like so and let's do another one going this way like so you can add a few more here try not to touch the bunny let me have line outline it. I mean do have some highlights here in there Can I like that? You can go and outlining the whole thing around with instead of white, you can do blue or pink, but I will stay there. And maybe I will make sure I have my stroke here so you guys can see it. And this one, I can add glitter in this side. Oh, I can add super quick <laughs> before we finish. Another swirl. And two tops. And pretty much look like this. This one is so easy. Like I said, you can add more things here, like a bow, a flower, a flower here, a flower here, here. I mean, whatever you like to frame around with flowers or details. This one is pretty much like that. It's very easy to replicate. I hope you guys like it. Remember, I'm in Houston, Texas. If you knew this, if you need the service, the face painting service, find me as Texas Farm Face Painting on my Facebook page. Send me a message or email me, and I would love to work for you or do your event, your birthday party. I'm here to celebrate and do like fun, cute face painting for everyone. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next week. Bye.